Hey everybody, Mark here with the Apple Tech One Tweet Views. And today I'm going to do the app review on Collabracam. Let's get started. Collabracam is an app that lets you stream the camera from multiple devices and record them onto one device. So hopping into the app, we see some basic features and things that you would normally see. In the top left corner, you do get your settings bar, which consists of naming the device. In this case, I named the actual device, but this would be naming the director of the certain camera. So in the end, it shows credits, and it would give credit to my iPad mini. On the opposite side, we get an information tab about the version and everything right there. We have some options right here. Director, which is the main person that controls all of the cameras, which I'll show you more about later. Sessions, which is just a bunch of clips put together from different sessions, obviously. You have your camera, which is what you use in the direct, um, if you're not director. And then below that is a very helpful user guide, and which you do need to read because this app is a little bit confusing. One thing that I noticed in the user guide, though, is that the page numbers are off. So, um, as you can see in the top corner right here, it says this is in page 1 right now. But if you look at the table of contents, it shows that page 1 is Welcome to Collabracam, which is really on page 3. So, the page numbers are two pages off, so um, this would be something nice that they, that it would be nice if they could change that and fix it in a future update. So, in camera, we get our camera. If you're using this on an iPhone, you can choose your lighting, which would be the LED flash on the back right there. So, I'm not using it. I'm only using it on an iPad, so it would not be enabled on this feature. I mean, device. Sorry. Right here we have our status. Gray means that it's not connected, red means standby, and green means it's recording. I think. I don't know, you can look it up. So in the user manual. So now let's hop into director. So when we hop into director, we need to title and copyright it. You don't have to be professional for a copyright and everything. You can title it if you want, you don't have to, and if you have copyright information, you can put your copyright information in there. So now let me just type in the name of it. Let's do review. Next. Done. Okay. So in the director feature, you get tons and tons of really, really cool features. You can pan left, track left, dolly, in, tilt, up and high angle. On the opposite side, you get pan right, track right, dolly di dolly out, tilt down, and low angle. So, right here you have an action one that would say this session. Next to that, you have an X button that where you would quit this session. Um, you have your time right there. You have stop recording, which would stop the recording on all of the cameras. And then you also get a record, which will start recording. You can record up to four iOS devices, which is really cool. So you can use four cameras in this situation. And this is where you would select them. You can see that right now, the iPad mini is the only one that is running this app right now and it's on so you would get only get that device but if I would want to put it on my iPhone 4 use my iPhone 4 my 4s is battery's dead I just click camera right there so we have that set that off to the side right now and you can see that it recognizes the iPhone 4 right there and then I can just select my cameras and go on so now let me connect another device and I'll show you what it does. As you can see, I have my iPad mini right here and my iPad 2 right here. 
the iPhone is going to be the director for this right now. And if I want to do an action, I can just click this and tap one of these to choose one in action. And if I want to record, I can just click record right there. And you can see I have my time running right there. So this one starts recording right here. I can tap this right here, which turns to blue. And I can tap record. It stops this recording, starts that recording. And now I can just automatically switch. Blue means standby. And if you, you can see right here, I, let me go over. You can see this right here. And I'll go in front of this camera so you can see that it is really recording. You see I put my hand right in there. And now I can click this one, record. And now this one's recording. If I tap this one right here, and if we hop over to the iPad menu, you can see that the box, the circle is blue for standby, and the iPad 2 would be red for recording. So now let's hop over there and I'll show you. So you can see the iPad mini is on standby, and the iPad 2 is recording. After I'm done with everything, I can click the stop button which stops all recordings and now so I, if I want to I can save and finish this session and it will take your, all of your clips and put them together to make one video and it might take a little bit because it's transferring them through the air so let's speed up with the magic of video editing and it will be done at one point there I did have to stop the recording because this um, it was taking too long and the camera was going to die, so I had to charge it. But I waited for about 10 minutes and it never did work. And so I tried two more unsuccessfully times, but I finally got it. And as you can see, it is upside down. And one thing that I noticed is that for some reason the app has some orientation problems with the iPhone. I don't know why, but it just has some orientation problems. And I had to switch directors, switch cameras, and so I finally got it. It's upside down, but this is it. So you just play it, and you watch me dancing with my iPhone. And then it just automatically switches. There you go. As you can see right there, it shows the directors and everything. And that is it. And um, if you want to, you can export it in different sizes and it shows you the resolution small, medium, and large. You can also export the clips by themselves. You can delete or duplicate the session. You can also resume the session if you're not done with it, where you can start where you left off. And that is pretty much it. You can pick this app up in the App Store for $5.99. Links in the description below, right there. So it's a very, very good app and I like it. But one of the things is you have to have multiple iOS devices. If you're a geek like me, that's no problem for you, but you have to have lots of iOS devices, but then it is meant for the big iOS movie maker director that would have different filmmakers and workers for them using the iPad and iPhone. This app is available for the iPhone and iPad, and they're coming out with the HD version for the iPad, so everything will look really, really good and crisp, and I will do an updated review on that soon. They're not sure yet when that will come out, but it will be some time, and I will do an updated review on the app. If you like this app, if you like this video, be sure to click that link, check out the app, click the like button, like this video, subscribe for more unboxing, reviews, and all of my thoughts, and if you have a question about this app, be sure to leave it in the comment section below, right there. And I will do my best to answer them, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.